Hi, hope you're all keeping fine. Today I'm planning to show some uh, uh, beautiful necklaces or chains uh, along with a, a pair of earrings and a bracelet using crochet. Uh, now in some of my earlier videos, I had shown you how to make uh, um, circular earrings as well as uh, uh, some jumkas like this. Uh, these are the circular earrings that I am talking of. And these are some jumkas. Uh, this I have already shown in my earlier videos. I will give you the link in the description box. So today we will be focusing on this uh, uh, chains that I will be making with uh, uh, crochet using chain stitches. Uh, so we will just have a glance at these chains. It will give you a better idea what exactly I am trying to show you. So for this, since I am dealing with uh, crochet work, we need uh, uh, crochet thread and uh, we need the crochet needle. So here I will be using this needle for this purpose and uh, uh, we, we need some fancy, you can see uh, pendants like this. So these pendants, they come in the market. I will show you some more. See these are some pendants. Uh, that we can get easily from the market and uh, I'll show you one one more so this comes as a set you can see I'll just place it here it comes as a set pendant with a set of a earrings so once we make this chain using this crochet it becomes a fancy or a very beautiful uh, piece of jewelry so here I bought a uh, black metal chain like this uh, along with this pendant so I was more interested in this pendant rather than this uh, uh, chain so while selecting such chains make sure that we can separate the pendant from this chain so that you can use it as two separate pieces you can see the pen here you can see the chain like this so I got it as a black metal uh, chain with a pendant so you can see this pendant I have fixed to this uh, uh, chain that is made up of crochet and the other part that is the chain you can see I am wearing it today so this is the chain and I have made the pendant and attached this pendant that is crochet pendant to this uh, black metal chain so let us uh, start then we need the usual stuff like a pair of uh, scissors and all that in case uh, I have forgotten something, we will get back to that as we go along in the video. We will first start off with the bracelet. You can see the bracelet over here. Bracelet and the, um, this necklace or the chains, they are more or less the same. Only thing is we have to make more number of chains for the uh, necklace part. So I will start off with the bracelet. So for that, we will start with our usual method. That is first we have to make a loop like this. And then I'll be making 40 chains. So I'm not going into details of this because uh, I discussed about this in many of my earlier videos. So I'll be making 40 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, So now I have made 40 chains. So you can see it need not be 40. This is according to my size. You can go for your wrist size. So I made 40 chains. Now what I am doing is I will make a circle. I will make a ring here by attaching it to the first chain using a slip stitch. So, this is a ring. Now, I will start with another color. You can go for the same color itself, but uh, I am using a different color here so that you can understand things better. So, I will just attach it here. So, now I will be 
introducing a new thread like this. So here again I will make 40 chains with this new color. So I will start 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I completed 40. Now I will join this to this first chain again using the slip stitch. So now you can see two circles. Now I will start the third round with the red color. I will again make 40. Now I have made the third circle. I am joining it to the first chain of the red color using a slip stitch. Again we will start with the another color and I will make one more round. Now I will attach this to the first chain again using a slip stitch and I will cut this thread and I will finish this off. So you can see that I have got four circles like this. So this red color also we have to cut it. So I will just take this strand and this and I will just tie a knot here. Now you can see that our bracelet has got uh, four chains like this. Now we have to give it a finish look for that. This portion I will cut extra threads. And then we will again make a loop like this. Now I have taken all the four strands together. Four chains together. And I will be making single crochet. Two. Three. Four. So these extra strands, I will just pass it through this stitches. And then I will cut off the extra thread. So our bracelet is ready. You can see this bracelet. You can see the bracelet over here. I have attached some beads also, but this I have kept it plain. That you can design according to your choice. So here I have made a similar chain using the same colors. But I used 120. For making a chain you have to go for 120 or 150. Depends on the length you want to. Here I have used 120. So the, this, this portion you have to seal off the edge like this. You, the same method you have to use uh, single crochet and finish this now i'll just show you how to attach the, a pendant to it so you can see this pendant i'll separate this pendant and then attach this pendant to this chain so as i told you before while buying this uh, chain make sure that you can separate the pendant from the chain so now I have taken that from this chain and now I have fixed all this uh, chain inside this loop. You can see a loop over here and then now I will fasten the loop. Now you can see that this chain has got a beautiful locket like this. So now I will do the reverse of that. That is I will make a pendant and then I will show you how to attach this to this chain. So for that we have to apply the same technique of making a flat circle. For that I will first make a loop. I will make 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 
I'll make a circle using the slip stitch. And now I'll be making 5 half double crochets into this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I have finished the first round using a slip stitch and then I have to keep increasing in regular order so that it becomes a flat circle. I am not going into detail here because uh, I have explained in detail how to make a flat circle. Now I introduced the new color that is red color. Now I will finish this last row. For that I will be making three chains like this then I'll be making a slip stitch to the next again I'll be making three chains like this I'll be making a slip stitch to the next again three chains like this a slip stitch in the next and I will continue making like this you can see it forms a flower so I'll repeat the same process I'll make three chains a slip stitch into the next so now you can see that it has taken the shape of a small flower this is just a pattern that I showed you. You can go in for any design of your choice. So now I will be making a few more chains like this. 4, 5, 6. Let me see and I uh, will show you how to attach it to this chain. So now I take I have taken this chain. And then now I'll, I'll make a loop like this. See? And then I'll just attach it to the back side of this. I'll stitch it here. Now I've taken it through this chain and then I'll connect it here using a slip stitch. You can make one more, one more uh, chain like this. I'll just show you. I'll make another six. I'll bring it like this, and just finish it off here. I just cut off the extra thread, and now I'll just join it here using a slip stitch. So this is the chain with the locket. Now you can see that the locket is uh, very delicate. So for that what you have to do in order to make it stiff. You can either use uh, two strands like this. Or after making the pendant you can just apply uh, a mixture of glue and water. And just soak it in that. Just put uh, take a solution of uh, gum and uh, water. And then put this pendant in that. And this will soak up the, all the uh, glue and by the next day this will become quite stiff. You can see the pendant. You can even place uh, a stone. You can see the stone over here. You can place uh, some decorative stones like this. Or you can make a tiny flower, crochet flower and you can stick it here. The choice is entirely up to you. And then you can also do like this. Uh, this is uh, another uh, uh, I had taken some beads like this, big beads and uh, I made a chain, the same method and then I just inserted it through this beads and then you can use it like this. And again the finishing, the final part I have finished using the same method. So this is another chain. So you can use your own ideas. I just gave you 
some ideas that's all you in case you have better ideas uh, please feel free to share it with me i'll be very glad to uh, hear from hear the comments from your side also i hope you got some idea uh, on how to make uh, such fancy uh, jewelry pieces uh, right in the comforts of your home um, please uh, uh, feel free to uh, express your comments i'll be very happy um, and uh, in case you have any doubts uh, i'll be very um, glad to clarify them in case uh, i am able to do that uh, so till my next video uh, it is tata bye bye from me take care and have a nice day